today I'm breaking tradition. Instead of marshmallows on top of my sweet potato casserole, I'm putting ginger snap streusel. So much flavor, so much crunch. You're gonna love it. Let's make it. Okay, so I roasted some of my sweet potatoes in the oven for about an hour. So I'm just peeling the skin off of them, and this is pretty easy because they're so soft. And once all the skin is off, I'm just gonna put it into a bowl and mash it. I'm just gonna press down on these babies, get them really nice and combined. All right, it's beautiful, and this color is so pretty. So I have a food processor, and to my food processor, I'm gonna add in some pitted dates that I soaked overnight. I'm just gonna go right in. Kinda like leave the water that it's soaked in in the bowl, you don't need that. Um, because I'm gonna add some flax milk. You can add almond milk or whatever kind of milk you prefer. And that's just gonna help loosen it up. And then I have brown sugar. That goes right in, and I just break it up. And then I'm gonna put the lid on top. All right, that's beautiful, it's all combined. And this is going right into my mashed sweet potatoes. And what those dates are gonna do is it's gonna help it kind of bind all of that potato together. I'm gonna grab a spatula so that I can combine this some more. And it smells really good. That's the other reason why I love cooking with dates is because it gives it like this caramely flavor and sweetness. And the molasses in that brown sugar really just makes this deep, sweet flavor that goes really well with the sweet potato. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna grab a casserole dish and just drop this in there. And this is the first layer of my sweet potato casserole. So just spread it out evenly. Okay, here is my ginger snap streusel recipe. In my bowl I have my Flour, and to my flour, I'm gonna add brown sugar. Just a little bit of that, give it some nice sweetness. Some cinnamon, of course. Ginger, you can't have ginger snaps without ginger. A lot of ginger. And then cardamom, this is ground, and it just, you just need a little bit, and it's gonna really make that ginger pop. Salt, kinda mix this together first, before I start adding my wet ingredients. So that's combined. And then in here, I'm gonna add in my molasses. And this is gonna give it a stickiness. It's really what's gonna make that streusel harden on top. So that goes in and a little bit of coconut oil. I have about a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna keep stirring as I'm pouring. And you're looking for a crumbly texture that's a little bit wet, but not completely. So you can start using your hands at this point. Just kind of crumble it along, just like that. And then in goes my pecans. These are chopped. It's gonna add a really nice crunch to the top, and that is perfect. So this is going on top of my layer of mashed sweet potato. And you're just crumbling this on top. This is basically cookies on top of a side dish. All right, this is gonna go in the oven to cook. The top is gonna get crusty and crunchy, like a ginger snap cookie, and the sweet potato center is gonna get really, really gooey and yummy, and we're gonna be ready to eat it. So my sweet potato casserole is out of the oven. I gave it a little bit of a chance to cool so that that top got hardened because that molasses sugar stopped cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. I love this dish because there are so many different textures. You get the crunchiness from the streusel, the creaminess from the sweet potato. This is an amazing recipe. And it's the perfect excuse to eat cookies. You have to try this.